Okay. I am back. So I put the media mod back on my GoPro, took the battery out, switched the microphones around a little bit. So I'm really hoping the audio is better and it's a little more stable. I adjusted a few settings for the, they call it ProTune. So it should be higher bit rate. Hopefully that'll clear up this. Oh my gosh, this car flipped a U-turn in front of us. <laughs> oh man, I had to disengage FSD for that one. <laughs> what? Stupid car. They don't even have their turn signal on. See, that's the thing. You know, you have people flipping U turns in front of the car, and thankfully I was paying attention in FS, you know, I had to cancel the FSD for that. This guy is like driving all over the road. Okay, anyway, we're gonna actually go to Target. So, you know, Target has always, it's always struggled going to Target for whatever reason. I'm actually heading from Madison Avenue area. So we're gonna take the freeway, just kind of like what we did yesterday. I got the air message to go away. The, the USB malfunction. I actually had a tip from someone that mentioned that they have the exact same setup that I do, same everything. And what they did is they unplugged their drive plugged it back in and hit the format USB option. And sure enough, it fixed my problem. So that went away. I would not have switched lanes there because that truck was turning right. I would have switched lanes after the intersection, but that's just me. The car changed lanes just fine. Whoa. So it was gonna break for that yellow. It just was causing too many dramatic moves to me. And the roads are really slippery, so I just decided to go through that. Again, it's crossing over the, the white line again here. This is something new. I've never seen it cross over until this particular build. So I just pressed the report button because it keeps reacting to this flashing yellow light. Never done that until this particular build, so I'm reporting that. I know other testers have reported that it's been doing that with various builds, but mine hasn't until this one. Uh, car spun out.
Okay, so it wasn't going to turn uh, quick enough, so I needed to intervene there to get it to get into the correct lane. But now I'm just back into FSD mode. This is where it's always struggled on this left hand turn. Now the pathing is showing correct. It's going into the exact lane that it's supposed to. So let's see how it performs. Okay. So I think that that, that's, that warning we're getting is because it is struggling a little bit, but it worked. I did not have to intervene. I didn't have to report. It was a little, a little squirrely. Ooh. But it worked. I should wait. Now, it's taking way too long. I'm accelerating. I'm overriding the delay with the accelerator because it just wasn't proceeding. The cars were so far away. There was no reason for it to keep delaying like it was. Now, the pedestrian is not in the roadway. It's still saying waiting for our turn because the pedestrian was crossing the road, even though we're making a left-hand turn. Um, I'm tapping the throttle to override because it's just not... It's just barely moving. And there's cars behind me. Okay, so I'm going to disengage here because it's just taking its time. So there was no turn signal. I would have indicated the turn signal before attempting that lane change maneuver, but it turned it on as I was in the turn lane already. So that's interesting. Great. Now I'm, a, I'm changing the lane because here is a left, it's a straight and a left turn lane. And typically the cars here and, oh gosh. Something's going on with the data there. What I was saying was cars generally in that left hand lane, they turn left to jump onto the freeway, highway 50. So I generally tend to drive in the right-hand lane all the way down Folsom Boulevard just because of that particular turn lane. But you saw what happened. The car wanted to veer left really quickly after that intersection. Oh. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, that startled me. There was a pedestrian coming out too, and but everything worked. I didn't have to intervene. Going a little bit too fast for speed bumps, in my opinion, but it did slow down a little bit. But we were going about 20 miles an hour when we went to that speed bump. Oh. A little too fast again. I, I would prefer it slow down a little bit more because I'm, you know, on a performance model. Anyway, more to come.